Arid regions can be divided into deserts and drylands. Drylands have less than 500 millimetres of rain a year, but more than 250 millimetres. Deserts are regions that have less than 250 millimetres of precipitation a year, which makes them too dry for much vegetation, if any, to grow. Most deserts are located in the subtropics, in a high pressure zone that keeps skies clear. Because there is very little moisture in the air, the air doesn't store much heat. That means the sun heats the land directly in the day, so daytime temperatures are high. The highest temperatures ever recorded come from a desert, 58 degrees centigrade in the Sahara Desert. But the lack of moisture in the air also means that as soon as the sun goes down, the land quickly loses its heat and temperatures drop rapidly. Sometimes the nighttime temperature can fall to below zero degrees centigrade. Deserts are hottest in summer and cooler in winter, and hot deserts also tend to be at their driest in winter too. This seasonality affects the small number of plants and animals that can survive in deserts. For example, springtime can see arid regions transformed as all the plants suddenly flower. What rain does fall in arid regions often falls all at once in intense rainstorms that can produce flash floods. It is hard to predict when this could happen and some years it might not happen at all. There is evidence that rainfall in arid regions, both the deserts and the drylands surrounding them, is becoming even more variable. Most arid regions look like this, gravelly, stony ground with sparse vegetation cover. When soil becomes very dry, it blows away in the wind and all that is left are stones. Some parts of desert regions have rock outcrops that are shaped by the high temperatures, wind and flash flood erosion. Plants and animals that live in arid regions have to be very specialised to survive in such extreme environments. They need to survive on very little water, so plants reduce the amount they lose through evaporation and make the most of the water they can find. Plants may have very deep roots or very wide and shallow roots. Some can store water like cacti and succulents. This high degree of specialisation means arid regions are often fragile environments. The plants and animals cannot cope with changes to the narrow range of conditions they are adapted for. So, for example, plants may have adapted to survive for many months without rainfall, but if there is still no rain after that, they will die.